Here we want to solve this rational equation. To do so, we want to get rid of our fraction. That means we need to know what our least common denominator is, so I need to factor the denominator. So I can see that x plus 1 and x minus 1 are the two factors in our least common denominator. That means I want to multiply my entire fraction, or my entire equation, on both sides by x plus 1 times x minus 1. So those fractions will cancel out. That means I'll have x plus 1 times x minus 1 multiplied by the 2 over x minus 1, and also x plus 1 times x minus 1 multiplied by the 3 over x plus 1 times x minus 1, and finally, plus the 1 times x plus 1 times x minus 1. In the first product, the x minus 1's cancel, leaving 2x plus 2 when I distribute the 2 through. On the right, both the x plus 1 and the x minus 1 cancel, leaving 3. And then plus, when I take this product of x plus 1 times x minus 1, I get x squared minus 1 because the inner and outer terms are opposite, so they drop out. So this means that I have 2x plus 2 equals 3 minus 1 is 2 plus x squared. Because it's quadratic, I'm going to subtract and put everything on the right so that I have 0 on one side. So I'll have my x squared. I'll subtract the 2x and bring it over. I'll subtract, the, um, I'll have the 2 that was already here, and I'll subtract this 2 to bring it over. That gives me 0 equals x squared minus 2x because the 2's drop. If I now factor that, I get x times x minus 2. And so setting each of those equal to 0, I get x equals 0 and x minus 2 equals 0 which gives me the solutions of 0 and 2. And neither of those make the denominator 0, so neither are undefined. Therefore, they are both solutions.